Hello everyone, my name is Nathan Yuan. I am a year 11 student at Cavendish Road State High School in Brisbane, Australia. I am the founder and CEO of Sciences, an international 501c3 nonprofit organization that aims to bring STEM resources to underprivileged and under-resourced students. Here are a few people on the Sciences team. Hello everyone, my name is Hala. I'm from Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, and I'm currently the editor-in-chief of Sciences Magazine. Um, nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Matt. I'm a year 13 student studying at Rangitota College in New Zealand. I'm also the education assistant for a non-profit organization called Sciences. Hi, my name is Vivian, and I'm the chief author and chapter president in Brisbane for Sciences. Hi, I'm Shreya. I live in Mumbai, India and I serve as the Director of Outreach for Sciences. Hi, I'm Alan. I live in New Zealand and I'm currently studying at McLean's College in Auckland. I am an Education Assistant at Sciences. At Sciences, we achieve our goal of allowing all students to gain access to STEM resources by providing a dedicated publishing platform for students to publish their own scientific articles and learn from like-minded peers. The articles are edited by our team of passionate editors and we also publish digital magazines which are compiled of the best articles published to our website. Our second issue is focused on women in STEM, so it's something to look out for. We provide free online tutoring for financially disadvantaged students from around the world. Our tutors explain concepts, provide additional worksheets and educational modules to our students. We also have free experiment videos made by our team of remote scientists. The remote scientist conducts engaging experiments. We have a YouTube channel which is dedicated to publishing those experiment videos. We have launched the Scientist International Writing Competition and received entries from over 30 countries. We have a podcast called Scientist Soundwaves um, where our team of podcast hosts interview professors from universities such as Harvard, Yale, MIT, we also interview successful high school students. The students or professors talk about their research and provide helpful advice to listeners. The podcast is now live on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts and Spotify. We have been able to open physical chapters in Australia, New Zealand, Kuwait, USA and Kazakhstan. Last but not least, we organize online webinars about important STEM related topics such as digital literacy for students. You know, I love writing scientific articles and so last year I was searching for a place where I could publish my own piece of writing. Unfortunately, I couldn't find anywhere that allowed me to do that. So I was thinking to myself, hey, maybe I can start my own website that allow all students to publish their scientific articles. So I designed the website and Science was born in May 2020 as a publishing platform for students to publish their articles. You know, for in the first month, I didn't receive that many submissions to the website. However, two or three months or so, many submissions started rushing in. I was surprised by the amount of people who were interested in STEM. And that was when I knew that Sciences could be something big. Being born in a third world country, Vietnam, I understand how difficult it is for students to access STEM resources. So I expanded the organization in hopes of reaching underprivileged and under-resourced students and providing them with essential STEM resources. I believe that STEM education is the most important factor in bridging the gap and giving all students, regardless of their race, background, religious beliefs and socio-economic situation an equal opportunity to grow and become successful in the future. So what's next for Sciences? I hope that we can open 20 more physical chapters by the end of this year. The chapter can provide free tutoring for financially disadvantaged students in the local area. We also plan to establish an Olympia tutoring program for financially disadvantaged students. Um, we also trying to partner up with other initiatives as well as NGOs to conduct physical and virtual workshops. However, the biggest challenge is just the COVID-19 situation, which has been preventing us from running 
um, those projects physically. I also hope to publish one more digital magazine by the end of this year to showcase the um, you know the amazing scientific articles which have been published to our main website. All volunteers and board members within the scientists team has a great passion for STEM from physics to chemistry to biology. Personally, my favorite subject at school is biology. I love biology because it's, it's a study of life. I love learning how things work and function around me. In the future, I hope to pursue a career in biological research. I also want to go back to my home country and work in the rural areas to better understand the needs of the children there. I think having a balance is very important. I used to want to get involved in everything about my organization and the workload was just overwhelming. I learned the important lesson that I alone cannot achieve everything and I cannot do everything and the team effort matters more. I now work to recognize people's strengths by assigning suitable tasks that complement their individual abilities. This allows the organization to grow and achieve much more and I also prioritize tasks. I rank my tasks in order of importance and finish the more important tasks first. Most importantly, I give myself regular breaks by doing what I love, either playing the bass guitar or going for a run. This allows me to unwind and come back refreshed. I'm also very privileged to be able to be surrounded by teachers, friends and families who, supported, who support me. They guide me and give me very helpful feedback and advice regarding important decisions that I have to make within the organization. When I was a child, I was taught a Vietnamese proverb which states Có công mài sắt, có ngày nên kim. This translates to if you have a piece of metal and you put in the hard work and you grind it every single day, eventually you have a piece of needle. As long as you work hard, never give up and believe in yourself, your dreams and ambitions will come true. The advice I'd like to give to other young people thinking of starting their own initiative is to just go for it. Don't be afraid of failing because it's part of the process. I too was scared of failing and my parents were worried that I might be distracted from my school studies. But I persevered because I know that this initiative will be able to help many students across the world. Another advice I'd like to give to students is don't you know, start an, an initiative to impress admission officers and to get in a university. Do it because you want to make impact. I hope that scientists will be able to inspire you and many other students to make a positive impact. If you want to learn more about our organization or join us and make a positive impact, please visit our website scientists.com or email us at scientists.co at gmail.com. You can also visit our Instagram at scientists.co and shoot us a DM. Thank you so much Crimson for this opportunity. And remember, có công mài sát, có ngày nên im. Thank you.